welcome back to my channel it's your girl roxy and i'm back with another video for my roxy diaries series i do apologize in advance that i have not been uploading like i should for the roxy diaries to be quite honest sometimes after i do my wig reviews i just don't really feel like doing anything else but I will save that for another video in regards to what it's like being a YouTuber and all of that extra fun stuff. All right, but anyways, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about, um, the title of this is going to be, um, It's Okay Not To Be Okay. So, I basically wanna talk about some things that a lot of people don't really like to talk about after a breakup or you know a divorce or whatever the case may be and i'll even share with you guys some of the things that i went through and some of the things that i learned you know going through all of that so a lot of times when you do experience some type of heartbreak or some type of um traumatic experience in your life you do end up growing through what you're going through all right so you do end up growing and learning and all of these different things so it's okay not to be okay a lot of times when people do get um, you know find themselves in a breakup situation or whatever the case may be they tend to not talk about the things that they're experiencing what they're feeling or whatever the case may be a lot of times they try to act like everything is going perfectly fine like they're keeping it together and all of that while that's really nice i mean if you can really do that and you truly feel like that i mean all power to you all right but um i know for me that when i went through my situation uh, my divorce and all of that i did try to do a lot of different things to keep busy because deep down inside i knew i wasn't okay and you know it's okay to talk to your friends if you're going through something it's good to talk to someone about what you're going through especially if it's a close friend you know that'll be understanding and not judgmental of your situation there are so many different phases of the breakup or divorce phase that you will go through and i'm here to tell you that it's normal um but there are other things that you can do to prevent you know being depressed and all that while that still may very well happen like you can do all of the things that you say you know you're gonna do to help you get better but you may still end up being depressed or going through very difficult times in your life so um number one i would say is talk to your friends like i said talk to someone it's good to talk to someone it's not good to keep all of those feelings inside and bottle it all up and it's like you're just dying inside um another thing is crying like it's okay to cry like I mean cry your freaking eyes out if you have to get it all out of your system get it all out you have to get it all out of your system like it's okay I mean it, you may be crying for a while depending on how long it takes you to actually get over that type of situation but it's okay to cry it's okay to feel really 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 sad because of what you're going through like it's okay you don't have to pretend like everything is going so great in your life um while some people like i said it may be very easy for them to experience true happiness and all that right away but others it's it takes a little longer and the struggle is definitely harder for sure so i would say crying i did write some things down you guys because i tend to like forget what I'm gonna say like I think about all these things that I want to say and then like once the camera starts rolling I'll say some things and I'm like dang I should have said this I should have said this oh damn I forgot to mention this so I wrote some things down all right so crying was one of them um so this is basically how you want to try to get over the situation while you're not okay and you're experiencing some really tough times so crying was one talking to your friends was one and then listening to a really good breakup mix uh, of songs i think it helps like i think that it's definitely like 
therapeutic in my opinion if you're like me and you love music like i mean music just makes me feel so good like i could be having a really 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 bad day and music just sets my soul on fire and i love all types of music guys so listen to some music it might um inspire you to feel better about your situation all right so don't listen to a song that's gonna make you cry though and really like get to thinking about that person i need you to listen to something that's gonna be like motivating you to like get over the situation and all of that all right let's see another thing um assess the relationship so just thinking about everything that really happened in the relationship you do have to address those feelings you can't just like not address those feelings so you have to assess the whole relationship and think about i mean the good and the bad like was this breakup truly um beneficial for you like was it something that you really needed was it necessary if it was something that you did it was you did something wrong then by all means if you still want to make it work with that person go ahead and make it work however if it is something that was really toxic for the both of you guys and it was for the better for you guys to split then try to see that as a positive um, instead of a negative don't dwell so much on the good times um, that you guys had because that's gonna make it harder for you to get over the situation seriously um, like I said you will go through different type of phases but one of those things is like just thinking about the good times that you guys had like that will just make you go crazy like myself like i used to think about all types of stuff like i went through the angry phase the happy phase the i'm um, over it phase to depressed phase to thinking about the good times phase crying my eyes out for all of that i went through all of that and i did have some close friends that i did decide to talk to at all times especially if i was going through something and i know they were probably tired of hearing my crap um but you know that's what friends are for if it is a true friend they'll listen they'll give you advice and it's good to talk it out now if you are experiencing some real deal like depression like i did it is okay to seek help like it truly is okay like i got help for about a year so it's okay like it really is okay and a lot of people don't like to resort to that either because they're embarrassed or they think that it may not help but you know talking to a psychologist or a psychiatrist whatever they tend to bring out a lot of things that you may not know like subconsciously they bring they tend to bring certain things to a head all right like so they make you more aware of certain things like why you may be experiencing this type of feeling or you know address maybe how you feel about yourself so you know i know that i doubted myself a whole lot and you have to be willing to know like to think that you are worth it like you totally are deserving of true love in something that is not chaotic or toxic okay so seeking help is okay it really is okay i actually recommend that if you're going through a divorce or uh, the a bad breakup i actually recommend seeking help even if you're not depressed right away um <laughs> I would suggest definitely seeking help. It's good to talk to a professional that will be able to assess better like what's going on in your life and to help you understand what you're feeling and you know what's going on. So seek help. <laughs> All right, another thing is stop staring at the phone. <laughs> I know I used to do that a lot. Like I just used to stare at my phone a lot like and go through things that will bring up old memories, which was not good. But a good thing, a good practice, I would say is try deleting 
your social media for a while like I know I did that I actually deleted the whole profile that I had completely and I even started over a couple months later I just started over a new whole fresh new profile so that I didn't have to be reminded of certain things that may trigger my depression so um, yeah so that's another little tip all right so it's okay to go out um, some people feel like they should just stay in the house all day and not do things or you know not even end up dating eventually so I think it is completely okay to go out I think it's good I think you need to go out actually you need to go out you need to have fun you need to try to get your mind off things and truly live life just live your life don't stop doing what you're doing just because of what's happening in your life especially if you're going through depression I would say definitely go out be around people and you know all of that while I know some people may like disagree with me or I don't know but this is just my personal opinion and what I feel um maybe not right away but if you want to start dating after a couple of months or so if you feel like that'll help you get your mind off things then by all means go ahead date it doesn't mean you have to sleep with that person but I feel like dating also helps so that you start learning um, like what you really like and what you really want in a relationship or in a man or in a woman or whatever the case may be it helps you know you know what you'll accept and what you don't accept and what you'll settle for and what you won't like you know what i mean like you just i feel like dating helps it definitely helps especially getting to know yourself and all of that in my opinion it helps while other people may feel like oh well you shouldn't date right away because you know what if you're not truly completely over that person yet i mean that may be very true but it'll get your mind off of it and give you a chance to see what's out there see what it is that you really want like the person that you were with may not even be the person that you really wanted to be with like you may have a like criteria you know like of what you want in a man and because of the person that you were with before and you guys were together for so long like you don't even know what it is that you really want in a man so dating I feel helps like I said you don't necessarily have to sleep with them but it helps and it definitely takes your mind off things and have fun go out live your life all right and be safe be safe <laughs> so let's see what else i have for you guys um so taking a trip is really good um just travel see what else is out there in the world and i'm not meaning like people like dating i'm just talking about experiencing the world like experiencing different cultures or even if you have family that lives outside of united states go visit like travel live your life like just do things that will make you feel good and another thing i have to say is to love yourself like i've said this before i know in uh, one of my previous videos but loving yourself goes a really 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 long way like i had to learn how to accept certain things about myself that maybe i didn't like before or that maybe i changed about myself because i was with someone else and i thought well maybe if i'm this way they'll accept me more as this way or they'll find me more appealing this way or whatever it is um be yourself love yourself and embrace the person that you are don't change for anybody all right so that is what i have to say to you guys today in regards to um it is okay not to be okay after a bad breakup or a divorce don't let people you know like don't let don't allow people to make you feel like you have to be okay like 
you know, like everything's just supposed to be normal and like you're not allowed to be sad or you're not allowed to cry or any of that. You are allowed all of that. You're allowed to cry, you're allowed to be happy, you're allowed to be sad, you're allowed to experience all of those different emotions that you will experience when you are going through a bad breakup or um, divorce or whatever the case may be. It's, I, in my opinion, I think it's normal. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, it's okay not to be okay and I recommend that you actually get some help if you are going through a bad breakup or a bad divorce and especially if the relationship was for such a long period of time and if you're feeling like you're lost and need answers or whatever the case may be. Don't go on like everything is just fine and not talk to anybody and you become such a loner or you know whatever the case may be i mean maybe you're okay with being by yourself and maybe you're okay with um not ever having to be with somebody again and that's perfectly fine okay so my camera just like cut me off mid conversation mid uh, telling my story or talking to you guys but anyways um let me go ahead and wrap this thing up <laughs> what i was saying before is that if you are okay with being by yourself and all of that that's completely fine just make sure that you do assess those feelings that you are feeling or that you are going through even if you don't want to see a counselor definitely recommend that you talk to a friend um so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. and Definitely stay tuned. I promise I'll be back with more Roxy Diaries videos. And if you guys have any um, special requests or anything that you would like for me to speak on, definitely feel free to let me know. Drop them in the comment section down below. And I will try to make an upload for the Roxy Diaries at least once every two weeks or so okay so that is my promise to you guys i'm gonna try but anyways thank you guys so much for watching definitely stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time bye